Today is a sad day for democracy, not only in Brazil, but all over the world. 55 million voters chose a fascist candidate, Jair Bolsonaro. And this is not an isolated phenomenon. Actually, it's a very popular movement at the moment. Brazil, 200 million people uh, country, is joining now the club of Turkey, Italy, Austria, Hungary, the Philippines, Saudi Arabia, and the US. And probably I'm uh, forgetting uh, other countries in the list. But this is spreading very, very, very fast. Um, this made me remember the 30s, the late 30s, and the very dangerous moment that we are at. A moment where the world is splitting in two. Well, not only the world, the world is uh, splitting in two, but the planet is collapsing. And it is up to us. It is up to progressives, like uh, the people at DiEM25, where I work as, as part of the coordination, uh, coordinating collective uh, body. Unless we all have an urgent change of tactics, and unless we invite more people to the table, unless we activate uh, the urgent call that I'm trying to convey to you today, we will lose. We will lose very badly because this time we will not only uh, face the oppression of a system with uh, monitoring and control techniques that we didn't even have uh, idea that they could exist in the past, but we are risking the planet. Among the measures that uh, join in the club, uh, this newly elected president in Brazil has, is to permit anything at the Amazon. Imagine, we are about to lose one of the lungs of the planet because of poor political choices. And that's only the beginning, there's more. Um, just this quick message is to invite you to join us in the fight against this, to do it with a humbleness, with openness and including as many people unlike us as possible and to do it right now. We have ahead of us the European Parliament election. We have ahead of us the midterms in the US, uh, nine elections in Latin America, elections in India, in many, many places. Next year is our opportunity to fix this, to become the most popular space, the only viable option for the survival of humanity. Thank you so much.